Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Monday market webcast. All right, hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving uh, over here in the States. Took a little time off uh, from the webcast this week. We were in the room. It was a great trading week, um, just a great big week. Uh, some really nice volatility. Um, you know, shoot Friday alone. I didn't even want to trade Friday, and Friday ended up being a really big day. Um, so the month's in really good shape for us heading into December. Um, I really didn't expect Thanksgiving to be a blowout week for the room, but it was, um, and, I'll, and I'll take it. So I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. We're back here doing this every day, um, but I took a little bit of a break over Thanksgiving just from the webcast, try to you know gear down just a little bit, take a breath. Every once in a while, I need to do that. Um, all right, let's talk about the tape. So it, it had been steadily flirting with the nine day. They spiked up and did that 4740 back on Monday, Sunday into Monday. They had two looks, two good looks at turning the daily mid band there, the green line into support. And then Friday, it was all, all of it was just too much. Uh, between this variant over in South Africa, other things that were going on. Uh, Black Friday, things like that. It was just, it was time for the thing to do a big exhale, and it did. Went down, it did lower level, almost did the 50 day exponential. They're bouncing it here, which is not unexpected. Uh, the question is, where does this bounce go, and what do the bears do about it? So, hourly chart. Right now, we're just all night, we have been on either side of the new weekly pivot at 4632.25. So, um, if you're the bears, you'd like to hold this. You'd like to close below it. You'd like to get back to where you were into the Friday close at 45.77 quarter area. Break that and head a little bit lower. If you're the bulls, all you really got to do is build on the bounce from last night, find a way back above the 9-day and the 20-day, and spend the majority of the week up here. If you do that, then people are going to say, okay, well, they took it down. This isn't a big deal. It's just another dip to buy. You know, December's here, Christmas is coming, where Santa, you know, all the same crap that everybody, that, that we all talk about every year. And then, you know, things press steadily higher. I'm not sure that either one of those scenarios is going to be an immediate thing. Um, and what I'm saying is it may be time for the market to take a breath for a couple of days here. Um, all time highs one week ago, um, a big low into the Friday close. Um, it may want to consolidate a little bit down here in and around the weekly pivot and kind of figure out what it wants to do. So I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't do much or if this area between the nine day and the weekly pivot really became some kind of a trading zone for a couple of days while it tried to find its feet. Look, I would love nothing better than to be wrong, that they'd ring the bell at 930 and we get right back to volatility central because that's that's awesome. Uh, but just be very aware that the market may not want to go anywhere. And after last week and all the opportunity, you know, if the market doesn't want to doesn't want to be there, don't be there, don't be there. Um, so we'll, we'll we'll see what happens heading into it. You got volume weighted average price sitting at twenty eight sixty four. Uh, weekly pivot thirty two quarter. Our proprietary moving average is thirty one and change. Five minute mid is thirty and change. Hourly mid twenty three seventy five. Um, daily pivot comes in 24 and change. So, you know, that's whole 24 to 33 area. Somebody's going to need to convert that. Bulls right now are trying to convert it um, here at 8.30 in the morning. Uh, but we'll see. Um, so, if whichever side, if they're able to today, can win that block of price, it's very likely they win the day and we kind of head into tomorrow from there. But ultimately, the bulls aren't going anywhere if they can't take out those that green line and that blue line, the nine day and the 20 day. And the bears, you made a low at 45.77 quarter. You got to make a lower low now. That's just the way of the world. All right, everybody have a fantastic day. Uh, be safe, be healthy, take care, trade them well, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.